You say you'd be there, baby. And I fall at my knees, singing, don't you ever leave. Singing, don't you ever leave. No, I want to breathe. I'm telling you that I feel it so deep in my shoes, in my boots. I'm breathing thin. The time is reaching for me and I'm waking. Gone, yeah. Cause I'm breaking out with you. Hey Sagittarius, how are you guys? How are you girls? Let's get into your general reading, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to book a personal reading, please visit the description box below. And you'll see my email, and that's how we book personal readings. All right, let's see what wanted to pop out. The Knight of Swords. So let's give it a few shuffles. Sagittarius, general reading. Sagittarius. Let's see what you guys have got for me today current energy guys thank you so much for supporting me and uh, following and commenting and staying active and being open about you know your heart chakras really it's awesome okay cool and supporting one another in the comments that really means a lot to me for sure so let's go ahead and see. I'm curious to see what's going on with Sag. I have a few close Sag friends that I haven't spoken to in quite a few weeks. So let's see what's popping. Are we ready? Let's do one more. First, the Three of Pentacles, Sagittarius, the Devil card. All right. The Page of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Swords. There we go. The Star card. Sweet. And the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck overall energy is the Knight of Cups. All right, Sag. So let's. what's happening? Um, <laughs> some of us are not happy about being able to work together with others. <laughs> um, I think some of us think that we chose the wrong person to be with. Okay? When, when it came down to the choice and we chose wrong. Maybe we chose the person in black instead of the one in, the, in that orange blue. Okay? Looks like we're given a cup and, you know, we took our time and we just kind of still chose wrong because we ended up in this devil energy and locked and chained. Someone threw away the key, revealed their true colors, okay? And you feel trapped in this, this relationship. Even the money aspect is like shed darkness upon. So maybe that means you kind of, you sold your soul to the devil with someone. You chose someone that, you know, you felt like, um, you two would have built like a, a money legacy and, you know, you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into. You chose the money, whether it was a sugar daddy, sugar mama, or just even someone your age that had money or you got with them so that because you knew that you two would um, be able to build and you chose wrong. Okay, so the page of wands here, you're um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Strange here trying to create a force field out there in the desert. You're trying to find time alone. To be able to muster up something new. Okay. You don't want them to see. You feel like you have to go like to the ends of the earth. You have to like literally go to your safe haven. To be able to think about something that may or may not come to fruition. Because you're not even that certain on it. Okay. But we do know that you're ambitious. Okay. And we do know that you um, you have money. You have the money that you thought you would have right now. Okay, with the Knight of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, it's kind of like you knew that this was going to happen. You knew it, and so you're kind of trying to get prepared. Excuse me, my battery. Okay, you're trying to get prepared. You're trying to go back into the past, though, for some reason. And um, because maybe now something didn't work. I said that because I saw I opened up the deck to the Three of Wands. But with your Page of Wands, you're really trying to um, dream muster up the courage you're really dreaming you're really trying to manifest um your fourth wand some sort of celebration you know you want to be able to uh, get out of this you want to at least have a success okay you're not a fan of odd numbers it seems okay and there's a significant number three here and um there's someone else in the picture that i think you would rather be with sagittarius 
and uh, but um, you know you hurt them in the past, and you just want to make sure this time that you're going to come correct. All right, that's what I get. After the Knight of Swords, okay, you're using them as like your as your motivation, okay? You're using this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or fellow air, uh, excuse me, fire sign, fellow air sign. I said it again. Ooh. Um, sorry, I just got a note. I'm getting a bunch of notifications. Sorry, Sag. Um, okay, so now we have the star card here, and you're looking for a wish fulfillment. You are saying, look, I've done so much work, okay? I've gone, I've gone back and retraced my steps and made sure that I planted everything that I need to in secret. You know, please give me what I'm asking for. Look at all that I've been going through and I've been trying my hardest to work and to do it for someone else. And you're trying hard not to believe that because you want someone else that this is bad, okay? This is not bad. What's bad is the relationship that you're in that has you bound and not wanting you to succeed, okay? With the four of cups here, that significant three is there again. And you're being offered a new position, a new love, a new cup. This is you knowing that um, you want someone else. But again, I think you know that you hurt them. I don't think you want to be able to... First of all, you're hurt. You're still in this relationship, by the way. I don't think you're done with this relationship. I think you're still in this relationship, okay? You're, I don't think you're done at all. But, you know... Someone is still adamant on you. This this third person that you feel may be the reason why this relationship that you're in currently has gone corrupt. Sometimes you try to blame it on that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this third person energy. But um, yeah. you're feeling a victim. You're feeling a victim. And it's like, don't do that because you know exactly what you're doing. You know that you're mischievous, first of all, Sag. You're, the way you're going back in the past, the way that you kind of put yourself up on that throttle to pick someone, it's like you kind of knew that you were kind of playing a little a little uh, raven claw. You know what I'm saying? Just a little um, daring, okay? And you're still daring in everything that you do, and you're bold. You're very bold. And even though you're doing this in the likes of someone else and the likes for someone else, it seems like you're still like, but it's not to be it's not to be too mischievous okay you do definitely want to be patient i open up the king of cups is there you do want to be patient and make sure that you're balanced and filling your cups properly so you're not trying to be you know malicious or anything like that or trying to be mischievous you've had your you've been there done that you just really want to make sure that you're doing the right thing and there's nothing wrong with that Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you had the, the Knight of Cups. So you do know that once you do come in, you don't want to build yourself up too much. You don't want to be too cocky. You're so vain or not like that. You do want to come in humbly and talking and spitting truths, okay, about all that you've done, about all that you've been. You know, you're not going to... You're not going to hide it, okay? You're in a little bit of a dark energy, but I think you're going to, you know, bring back out your, like, adventurous side and that contagious smile of yours, Sagittarius. And you're going to make sure that you offer what you have to someone, and that's going to have to be enough. Let's clarify this devil card here for Sagittarius. Let's clarify this devil card. My gosh. Ugh. No, way too many, but one over here, or two. So the strength card, Leo, and the world card, completing cycles. So the devil card here is, first of all, you acknowledging that this is what that relationship looks like, though clarity is right around the corner. So this is either happened or going to happen. And once you realize exactly what you are, it's not saying accept the devil. It's not saying accept the devil. It's not saying once you're the devil, yay, good job. It's not saying be strong about the devil. It's saying at least understanding that your relationship or where you are has been in that energy is one success story how can you change how can you fix something if you don't know what it is all right how can you buy that product at the store if you don't even know what it looks like or what it does so you know you you have mustered up that strength and courage you're not scared of this person or of this energy because you know that you can conquer and divide <laughs> Okay, significant number two here and infinity. You will always be strong after this. I mean, once you've passed that test, of, you know, shoot, what's you really, you know what I mean? What can't you conquer? What can't you face? 
that's completing cycles because you stopped staying stagnant. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus, okay? Those are the fixed signs. And this is a woman or a man, hey, very beautiful or handsome woman, man, that is able to conquer and divide, okay? To keep moving. She's, she or he is inspired by others, okay? And um, you mustered up that strength, okay? And you're, you're, you're on the road to redemption and happiness and clarity, okay? Indulging in a positive manner. Shoot, okay? Let's clarify this page of wands. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got the page of pentacles, and then we've got the five of cups. So the page of pentacles... Um, clarifying the page of wands so you again you when you sneak away and you're like you literally built a castle in a matter of five days during uh the preparation of dinner at home so you've been working and you've been working on your own and you've been working quick um you've been putting in your own money not the money that you and your wife or you and your girl or whatever made together you made your own money you worked real hard and you put your heads strong together, your own money, okay, without dipping into the kids' funds or what have you. There doesn't look like there's any kids, but there could be. And you, um, you know, you're finding your way out, okay? You're not worried about the three, the third party. You're not, like, necessarily worried about trying to pick them back up, but you are hurt about the fact that this is what happened, you know, about the people you loved and cared about, but you have two other legacies that you're going to soon turn around and face because these are the things that matter and these are the things that are still salvageable and that are still existing, still standing up and can still serve you. Um, the Page of Wands with the Five of Cups. Um, with the Page of Wands, knowing that you're, 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 you're building your stability, you're facing the facts. You're facing the facts that something is over, that something is dead, that 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 this is done, that this is over. Maybe even this person that you didn't choose is moving on as well. So you realized you lost it all. You lost you lost two people that you cared about, you know. They won't forgive you or you won't forgive them, but it's like you have other options. You have someone else. You have other things to do to work on. Maybe you lost both people by being foolish by maybe you felt like they felt like you took too long but i just opened up to the four of wands so those people you know they're gonna come and go and you're gonna meet someone else you know what i mean you're gonna meet someone else you're gonna have something else someone else let's clarify the star card for sagittarius Woo! right up is the death card the scorpio but for this star card, it's saying that you're going to need to see things in a different perspective, move on, um, have a death and rebirth and come back, be, be of a different person, find another element. You've got the page of wands, you've got the page of pentacles that you're starting new. Okay, so maybe next is the page of cups, you know, but you're needing a complete transformation of death. So you're not there yet. Okay, you've completed cycles, you, you gain that strength. Okay, but now you need to find the elements of life, the star card, and that is where you're going to get your balance from because being able to balance means that you have all the necessary tools to put on the scales, okay? If you only have, you know, like one or two, no, it needs all of the elements of life. It's, it's, it's a complete ritual. It's a complete spell. It's the, re the recipe, yeah? Okay, so let's clarify this four of cups. Four of Cups. Here we go again. Oh, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands again. So you understanding exactly what those offers looked like, exactly facing the tunes, facing the facts of these people, these decisions, this heartbreak. Understanding that you don't need to be so mischievous and so fast-paced and so, you know, sometimes a little careless, a little ah, all over the place, you know, kind of ground yourself with what we know, what you've worked so hard on, and ground yourself, see things through a different eye and perspective with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio card, right? And just take the time to breathe because they're not going anywhere if they're supposed to be there. You will find, you know, your, your Ten of Cups. First of all, that's, you know, King and Queen of Cups. That's patience, balance, and emotions, so here is not even saying that you're balanced yet. It just says that you're getting there because you're not so quick to be like, oh, you know, yes or no. Okay. 
but you're 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 getting this 